really strange sitting here because I'm using the design I've drawn out in pencil um, from 1850 as a tablecloth. <laughs> so I always draw my designs onto the fabric in pencil. And then for the kits, obviously they're printed using um, a screen printing technique onto the linen twill, which is actually really hard because the linen twill is slightly ridgy and there's only one or two places in the country that um, can do this. And there's only one place that took me on. And um, that's, that's amazing. And we are very small customers because he normally does bespoke um, curtains and, and things for massive projects. But our kit business is something that he actually quite likes because he's a bit of a crafter himself. So that's a really lovely thing. So this design um, is the medicine stag and that is a well-used cushion. And I think I've had this for about 10 years, just knocking around at home and um, it's been used a lot. And I have two cats and a dog and a husband and grandchildren. So things get used. I never, I never wash anything actually. <laughs> well, I do wash anything, but I don't wash the pillows. But if you did want to, you'd have to unpick it and block it. And all the details for that are on our video or in the um, essential guide with every kit. <laughs> So this is the medicine stag, which is a jolly little chap, and he is, um, you know, disproportionate to the fruit and the and the mountains around him. Typical of uh, earlier cruel work designs, but this is an arts and crafts and early 20th century um, fire screen, which is in Melliston House in the borders of Scotland, which is one of my favourite places because it's up the road from Traquair House, which is a mainly Catholic house, and you can see the contrast in style and um, in content in their collections, and it's it's a real, really fascinating um, pair of houses within half an hour of each other. So the Melliston stag is stitched with a double thread along the top of his rump, and I use this technique a lot to actually fatten out and, and really make it stand up and raised from the uh, fabric and the again the um, the little berries there are also very very proud and it should look like you've chopped a cherry in half and popped one down on the top of the linen so it should really really stand up and be 3d and I really like that and you'll see when you use these as cushions if we do have guests in the house, they sort of pat things and stroke them and let them because, you know, it's wool and it's linen, it's fine. And um, funnily enough, these sort of natural fibres don't really attract the dirt in the same way. Um, so anyway, this has a classic combination of long and short soft shading, laden couchwork, French knots and cruel stem stitch and a little bit of clothes fly. And you'll see that we use this again and again in um, a lot of the kits in cruel work. So this, this goes very nicely with the Mellison Parrots and the Mellison's Fire Screen if you want a matching set of crew work. <laughs> <laughs>